For the second line of defense in innate immunity in, or innate immune response, the immune cells. Let's say you are playing sports and you uh, injured your knee. Pathogens will be flooding in to attack because uh, the microbes now can penetrate the first line of defense. Your body needs to immediately respond by preventing the invasion by pathogens and also kickstart the healing process. And after the first line of defense is uh, breached, the second line of defense, uh, which uh, also consists of specialized cells, whose purpose is to destroy the invader, will uh, start in preventing the invasions by pathogens. The cells in the innate immunity, uh, majority of the cells uh, consist of uh, phagocytes, effector cells, and also uh, we will discuss a little bit uh, later the natural killer cells. There are several cell types that fulfill this function in innate cellular defenses. First is the phagocytosis, which uh, mainly consists of uh, macrophages and also neutrophils. Antigen presenting cells by macrophages, dendritic cells, and also B cells. Cells that secrete chemical mediators uh, such as cytokines, mast cells, and mesophils, and also cells that uh, possess uh, special functions in the innate immune response such as eosinophils and also the natural killer cells. First, we have a look at the phagocytes. Phagocytes are immune cells that perform phagocytosis. Phagocytosis comes from the Greek word uh, meaning uh, to eat. The function of phagocytosis is to kill and digest the whole microorganisms uh, in order to prevent uh, invasions Phagocytes catch the invaders using their cytoplasmic extensions, as uh, we can observe here. The main uh, type of neutrophils uh, of phagocytes are neutrophils. Here we have a picture of a surface electron microscope, neutrophil extracellular traps here. Protect against uh, infection, in particular by immobilizing and kill invading microorganisms. Uh, this is the specific function of uh, nets, one of the characteristics of neutrophils. They are the most abundant uh, WBCs. Patrol tissues, it is, as they squeeze out of the capillaries, uh, they are coming from the blood and they will go all over the bodies. They have a very short life span, uh, which is uh, in days. Large numbers are released by the bone marrow during infection. Neutrophils are attracted to chemicals released by bacteria, also the necrotic or dying tissues during infection, and they are the first to arrive Unfortunately, this results in the death of neutrophil as well. That, that is why they are also known as the kamikaze cells as they, they die after digesting bacteria. Because of this, neutrophils have a lifespan that ranges, ranges from a few hours to a few days. And that neutrophils make up a large proportion of pus. Also secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines when exposed to inflammatory mediators. Every day, around 10 billion neutrophils are produced in the bone marrow, making them the most abundant white blood cells. Second phagocytes, the macrophages, here we can observe the SEM of a macrophages. 
engulfing bacteria using their cytoplasmic intrusions or extensions they come from the greek word meaning uh, big eaters the free types monocytes found in the bloodstream while the the fixed types can be found in the tissues and known as macrophages when monocytes move into tissues they become wandering macrophages they are highly motile and efficient microbial phagocytosis macrophage macrophages digest the microbes much slower than neutrophils and do not self-destruct during the digestion process they also secrete pro-inflammatory cytokines when exposed to inflammatory mediators macrophages are more durable and uh, live longer than neutrophils and they have a quite a good lifespan for cells can be uh, months and up to years most tissues in the body contain resident population of macrophages that protect the tissue from infection these macrophages are called fixed macrophages and they also initiate adaptive immune responses as they display antigens from the pathogens digested to the T cells for fixed macrophages the names depending upon their location for example in the brain microglia cells in the blood they are known as monocytes in the liver Kupfer uh, cell Langerhans cells in the epidermis of skin alve Alveolar macrophage in the lung Osteoclast in the bone and also histiocytes in the connective tissue Phagocytes perform phagocytosis Which is the process by which Phagocytes ingest or engulf other cells or particles. Resting phagocytes become activated by inflammatory mediators. Inflam inflammatory mediators include the pathogens, chemicals or toxins, or cell in injury. These activated macrophages, they are full of energy they move towards the chemical attractants released by the inflammatory mediators this chemical attractant is called chemoattractant and the process of moving towards the chemical attractant is called as chemotaxis majority of the eaten microbes will be digested into debris while small parts of it will be processed then presented into the additive immune cells which is the T cells this is the phases of eating process of phagocytosis first chemotaxis and adherence of microbe to phagocytes chemotaxis mean the phagocyte move towards the microbe or the particle in order to ingest it ingestion of microbe by phagocyte or gobbling up the microbes formation of phagosome phagosome is a type of phagocytic vesicle and number four the fourth step fusion of the phagosome with a lysosome to form a phago lysosomes so this lysosome contain lysozymes will which will digest the ingested particle fifth digestion of ingested microbe by the lysosome lysozymes 
six formation of residual body containing indigestible material and seven discharge of waste material and also some parts of the antigens or parts of the microbes will be retained uh, later in the process of presenting the antigen to the T cells. Phagocytosis is helped or aided by two mechanisms. First is opsonization. It's a process whereby opsonins make an invading microorganism more susceptible to phagocytosis. They weaken the microorganism. Among the opsonins include non-specific by complement protein C3B or specific by specific antibody to the specific pathogen. Second is the surface phagocytosis process. A non-specific where the fibrin clot trap invader then engulf by phagocytes. Second type of cells in the innate immunity immune response, we have the antigen presenting cells, macrophages is a, a type of APC or antigen presenting cells. They are called antigen presenting cells. You can observe here in the SEM picture showing the interaction between a macrophage, brown and a T cell, red. So this is the bridge between the innate immune response and the adaptive immune response. The antigen presenting cell will, will bind the antigen that already been processed earlier to their major histocompatibility complex or MHC which will, will, will be detected by the T cell receptor of the T cell like a lock and key mechanism. So, when the MS, uh, antigen on the MSC meet the TCR, this will activate the maturation of helper T cells and also cytotoxic T cell. Antigen presenting cells are a heterogeneous group of immune cells that mediate the cellular immune response in the adaptive immune response by processing and then presenting the antigens for recognition by the T cells. Classical APCs include dendritic cells, macrophages and in uh, small parts played by B cells. An antigen presenting cells or APC is a cell that display foreign antigen complex parts of the digested invaders with the MAC class 2 on its surface. And then the cell will recognize this complex using their TCR. First, we have a look on a major dendritic cell. Based on this picture, the long projections seen in the cell wall a cell surface are fit to help it move and also to capture the pathogens. They are the uh, most efficient APCs. These cells reside in the structural compartments of the lymphoid organs such as the thymus, lymph nodes and also the spleen. They can also be found in the bloodstream and other tissues of the body. It captures antigen and then bring it to the lymphoid organs to start up the adaptive immune response. Second, we have uh, we also have the eosinophils, which have a special functions in the cell cytoplasm of eosinophils. There are many enzymes containing granules, the bright orange and green, which. Uh, contain enzymes that will be used to that are used to destroy invading organisms. These cells have the purpose of fighting parasites such as 
helminths and and also play a big role in the allergic reaction. Their primary location is is in the intravascular circulation or in the blood. Their lifespan is within days. They release uh, pro-inflammatory mediators and also toxic substances against non-phagocytosable surfaces. For example, parasites, which is too large for phagocytes, may also balance the immediate hypersensitivity reaction by controlling or degrading the in or in inactivating the inflammatory mediators released by mast cells. The eosinophils release various substances from their eosinophilic granules. The granule content are capable of damaging the parasite membrane. The granules are rich in major basic protein plus cationic proteins, peroxidase, Erysulfatase B phospholipase D, histamines, cytokines, and uh, a few other. Then we have a look on basophils. This is a transmission electron microscope. You can observe heparin, histamine, and serotonin stored in the granules in the green color inside the cell cytoplasm. Mesophil play a big role in host defense, particularly against parasites, and also play a major role in allergic responses. They release uh, inflammatory mediators. They are located primarily in the blood. Their lifespan is within days. The granules rich in heparin, histamine, serotonin, interleukins, and a few others. Mast cells. This is a TM of a section of a mast cell with vacuoles, the dark vacuoles containing histamine or heparin. Mast cells play a key role in the inflammatory process and also in the wound healing. Also best known for their role in immediate hypersensitivity allergic reactions and also anaphylactic shock. Young basophils settle into tissues and become mast cells. Their primary location is in tissues and their lifespan is uh, within months. Their granules contain heparin, histamine, serotonin, serine proteases, Prostaglandin D2. We also have natural killer cells. These are the natural killer cells and cancer cells. The white cells are the natural killer cells. They are in the process of killing a cancer cells, the red colored. Natural killer cells guard the body against own body cells such as viruses, infected cells or mutated cells which uh, have become cancerous. There are roams all over the body looking for abnormal cells to kill. Natural killer cells know if our cells become abnormal by scanning their MHC class 1. Abnormal cells have a different MHC class 1 or even not expressing any MHC class 1 will be killed by natural killer cells. Their lifespan are within weeks. Natural killer cells will poke and make many holes on the abnormal cells until it died from apoptosis. Their main uh, proteins uh, in order to perform this is perforin. They are called natural killer cells because even though they are a type of T cells, they 
exhibit spontaneous killing of abnormal cells without the need for specific antigen activation as required normally by T cells in the adaptive immune response. Natural killer cells are very important uh, in defense against viral infected cells and also malignancies.